hello friends today uh, we are going to learn about how to calculate ground state term of weak field complexes so what is the necessity to determine the ground state term of uh, weak field complexes uh, as uh, we know that the color complexes uh, why they are they looks colored so uh, this color uh, is due to the uh, excitation of electron from ground state to excited state and when these electrons they uh, return back to the ground state they emit energy in the form of light and uh, they appear colored so uh, what is the ground state term so we have to calculate the ground state term of transition metal complex and uh, what will be the excited state term to know about the colors to know about the transitions so what kind of transitions can occur and uh, they are what are the transitions that are responsible for the color of transition metal complexes so as we know that there are four types of quantum numbers from for an atom so those quantum numbers are principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number uh, then uh, magnetic quantum number and spin quantum number so these four quantum numbers they can describe uh, the address of an electron so likewise for a transition metal for a transition metal there are some uh, other quantum numbers which we have to learn before uh, determining the ground state term so these are capital s capital l and j these are three new quantum numbers this is the summation of spin quantum number of all electrons present in a transition metal complex this is the summation of azimuthal quantum number of or orbital quantum number for all the electrons present in a configuration and j is from l plus l to l minus s the value of j it can be determined if the value of s and l are known so what is capital s so capital s is nothing but this is the total spin angular quantum number l capital l so capital l is the total orbital angular quantum number and j is the total angular quantum number so if we know all these values we can determine the ground state term of a particular transition metal complex so s if we know capital s what can be uh, retrieve the information from capital s we can retrieve the information about multiplicity multiplicity of a term this can be determined with the help of s and l l is helpful in determining the state what will be the state of uh, the term what will be the state that will be determined with the help of l so to represent is a uh, term we can represent with the help of value of l and here we write 2s plus 1 and here we write j so this is the denotion general formula for any term so defining any term we have to uh, determine s l and j these are compulsory for determining ground state term of any transition metal complex so let's take an example of a simple configuration s1 so if one electron is present in s orbital so we can represent like this so for this s orbital the value of l this is the value of l so a value of l is 
this is the small l only one electron is there so capital l will also be zero then s what will capital s because there is only one electron so capital s will be half this is plus half so l is zero capital s is half and we know that any term can be represented by with the help of 2s plus 1 and j so what is 2s plus 1 so 2s plus 1 is the multiplicity this is the multiplicity of a term so if we know s value of s we can calculate multiplicity so if it is half then multiplicity will be 2 2 means the state will be doublet state what do we mean by dub 2 2 means this is doublet state so doublet state means there is a one electron and its spin is half and if uh, so for s1 configuration l is equal to 0 s is equal to half and j is equal to what is the value of j value of j is from l plus l to l minus s so this can never be minus so l plus s is equal to half so only one value may be possible not less than half j value cannot be less than half it cannot be minus so there is only one value half so l is equal to zero as we know that is small l if we recall the value of l if l is zero then uh, this the orbital will be s if it is one then orbital will be p if it is two then it is d so likewise if capital l is equal to zero then the state will be capital s if capital l is equal to one the state will be capital p so this is denoted by capital letters because these are energy level and these are denoted by small letters because these are denote the orbital so the difference in between the energy levels and orbitals is that the orbitals are denoted with the help of small letters while the energy levels they can be represented with the help of capital letters so one difference in between orbitals and energy levels is that they are the energy levels they are denoted with the capital letters okay so if we know the value of l we can know what will be the energy level what will be the term if it is equal to 1 then the term will be p if it is 0 then the term will be s so we know about the term now but uh, now we have to determine the we have also already calculated uh, the multiplicity of the term and value of j so now we know that the general formula is 2s plus 1 and j so for s1 configuration l is equal to 0 so state will be s the multiplicity will be 2 because the spin was half and j value was half so this will be the ground state term for s1 configuration likewise for s2 configuration if it is s2 if the configuration is s2 then we can see that the l value is 0 and these are two electrons so for two electrons l is equal to 0 both the electrons are present in the l is equal to 0 because l1 is equal to 0 for one electron l is equal to 0 when other for another electron l is equal to 0 so capital l is equal to l1 plus l so this is equal to 0 what will be the spin spin will be equal to plus half for this electron it is plus half 
and for this electron it is minus half so it becomes e zero so total spin becomes zero so we know the value of l l is zero so term will be s s is equal to zero so multiplicity will equal to one so multiplicity is one one for singlet it means multi if multiplicity is one it means the state is singlet and what will be the j value j value will be equal to zero plus zero it is equal to zero so ground state term will be one as zero so for s2 configuration the ground state term will be g uh, the ground state term will be one as zero now we can take the example of p1 configuration it, it, it becomes more clear with the help of p1 configuration so for p1 configuration we can easily calculate the ground state term so this is the p orbital and one electron is present in this p orbital so this is p1 configuration so for p1 configuration this has the value of l is plus one plus one for this orbital zero for this and minus one for this orbital so we can see that this electron this is the single electron and it is present in the l value that is equal to plus one so capital l will be one because one electron and it is present in the one orbital angular quantum number and s is equal to because there is only one electron so s will equals to half a spin of one electron will be plus half if l is equal to one then the state will be capital p if s is equal to half then multiplicity will be equal to 2 and then the value of j can be 1 plus half s plus l so it becomes 3 by 2 then other value will be l plus s minus 1 that is equal to half so only two values of j will be possible because multiplicity is two so if multiplicity is two then only two values of j will be possible that are plus uh, that are three by two and one by two so two ground state term may be possible two p three by two and two p one by two so these may be the two ground state term for p1 configuration but now we have to apply the rule to determine the exactly what will be the ground state term either 2p3 by 2 or 2p1 by 2 so for this whom have given one rule so the rule is that if the configuration is less than half filled that is the configuration is p1 half filled means p3 configuration so if it is less than half filled means it is p1 configuration then the value of j sh that should be preferred will be the lower j value there are two j values one is 3 by 2 other is 1 by 2 so we have to choose the lower j value so this will be the ground state term when the configuration is less than half filled or half filled so we can uh, take an example another example that is p4 configuration so p4 configuration is exactly you can see that it has it will have exactly the similar uh, ground state terms but we have to choose the different ground state according to whom rule so if this is p4 configuration so we can uh, draw this p4 configuration will be like this plus 1 plus 1 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 so l value for these four electrons will be plus 2 plus 0 minus 1 so it is equals to plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 two electrons are present in plus 1 plus 1 0 minus 1 so it becomes plus 1 s is equal to s is equal to there are four electrons so s is equal to plus half minus half plus half plus half so it becomes one so it spin become one now the the value the multiplicity multiplicity will be three 
according to s is equal to 1 it becomes 2s plus 1 so it becomes 3 and if multiplicity is 3 so j term the values for j will be 3 so what will be these three values that is 1 plus 1 2 then 1 plus 1 minus 1 then that will be 1 1 plus 1 minus 2 that will equals to 0 so there will be possibility of three values 2 1 0 so 2 1 0 will be the free ground state term for p4 configuration uh, 2 1 0 will be the values of 3 j, uh, j value for p4 configuration so now according to l value those because l is equal to 1 so the ground state term will be p and multiplicity is 3 so ground state term will be 3p and there are 3 j values so 3 ground state term may be possible 3p2 3p1 and 3p0 but according to the hoon rule if the configuration is more than half filled so this is more than half filled means this is p4 configuration so we have to select the value that has the highest j value so this will be the ground state term according to hoon rule let's uh, let us see the another examples mm, we can uh, use the another examples like uh, now we can take the example p5 configuration so for p5 configuration the arrangement of electrons will like this so this is plus one plus one zero zero minus one minus one so now for this configuration l value is equal to plus one plus one plus two plus one plus one plus two plus zero zero plus two minus one it becomes plus one and spin value is equal to half if we add the spin values then plus half minus half zero plus half minus half zero and rest is the plus half so spin becomes plus half now multiplicity will become 2 so the value of j will be the 2 because multiplicity is 2 so value of j will be equals to this l plus s 3 by 2 and another is half so two values are possible so for p5 configuration the term will be p according to this value of l is equal to 1 so this becomes p now multiplicity is 2 so term is 2p and there will be the possibility of two terms according to the two values of j 2p 3 by 2 and 2p 1 by 2 so now this configuration is similar to p1 configuration you can uh, recall that there was uh, one unpaired electron again in this uh, uh, configuration also there is one unpaired electron so the these two ground state terms may be possible but now in this case because it is greater than half filled so now the ground state term will be this uh, th that is having higher j value so you can uh, compare with the p1 configuration where the ground state term was 2p 1 by 2 and in this case the ground state term is 2p3 by 2 because according to the Hund rule it is more than half filled so more than half filled the higher value of j will be the ground state term for less than half filled lower value of j will be the ground state term of the particular configuration so now we can take the example of um, we can take the examples of uh, other d configuration so these are the actually we can see that if we consider the d1 configuration so for d1 configuration if it is weak field complex so the electrons will fill like this this the value of l for this plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 so for d2 configuration the electron can be filled like this 1 2 for d3 configuration it can be like this so this is weak field complex actually 1 2 3 for d4 configuration it will be like this 1 2 3 4 this is for weak field complex we can compare to the strong field complex 
so for d5 configuration this will like this but for weak field complex we can see that for strong field complex d1 configuration will be like this d2 configuration will be like this d3 configuration will be like this but from d4 configuration it becomes like this 1 2 3 and now pairing starts for d5 configuration again 1 2 3 4 5 so this is strong field complex this is weak field complex so electron filling is different so we are considering only about the weak field complexes so we can take the example of weak field complex because we are studying about only the calculation of ground state term for weak field complexes so we can see that these ground state terms are for atom only we are calculating the atomic terms here not the mm, complex the terms for complex but these are atomic terms actually so for d1 configuration for d1 configuration we can again calculate the ground state term this is plus 2 plus 2 this is plus 1 plus 1 this is 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 so for this electron for this single electron s will equal to half l is equal to plus 2 because this electron is present in the orbital with l value is equals to plus 2 so value of j first we have to calculate the multiplicity so if it is half the multiplicity will become 2 so it is doublet so the j value will be uh, the two values will be the j value so that is l plus l means 5 upon 2 and other value will be 3 by 2 so the term will be according to l the term will be d because l is equal to 2 so term will be capital d as we know that if l is equal to 0 then the term will be s if it is 1 then it is the orbital will be p if it is 2 then it is d so likewise capital l if capital l is equal to 2 then capital d will equal to uh, then the state will be d multiplicity is 2 so state will be 2d and j values are 5 upon 2 and 3 by 2 so this may there may be two ground states 2 3 2d 5 by 2 and 2d 3 by 2 so because this configuration is less than half field so we have to choose the value of j less than uh, the lesser value of j so this will be the ground state term according to Huang de rule so if we consider uh, the d2 configuration so in case of d2 configuration we can see that in case of d2 configuration there are two unpaired electrons so if there are unpaired electrons so s will be one plus half plus half is equal to one l is equal to because one electron is present in plus two uh, this plus two uh, l and the another electron is present in plus one so the uh, l value will become plus 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3 so l for this and l for this that becomes equal to 3 so l is now l is 3 then multiplicity will be 3 2s plus 1 then value of j will be 3 that is equal to l plus s s l plus s so this is 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 so this is 4 then 3 then 2 there are three values may be possible so as l is equal to 3 then the term will be f multiplicity is 3 and there are 3j values so there are three terms may be possible 3f3 and 3f2 but the ground state term among these three value will be this because the configuration is less than half in and now we can take an example of d5 configuration directly we can go to the d5 configuration so for d5 configuration again there are five unpaired electrons so s will equals to 5 by 2 all the uh, electron spin will be 
add it. So it becomes 5 by 2. Then L is equal to capital L is equal to for this electron it is plus 2. For this electron it is plus 1. For this electron it is 0. For this electron it is minus 1. For this electron it is minus 2. So L value becomes 0. Now multiplicity will become 6 according to this S value to S plus 1. Then value of J will be 5 by 2, 3 by 2 and 1 by 2, not less than 1 by 2. So now the term according to L is equal to 0 will become capital S, multiplicity is 6S. Now the state may, there may be 3 states, 6S 5 by 2, 6S 3 by 2, 6S 1 by 2. Because this configuration is half fit, so the ground state term will be the term with the lower value of j. So for these five configurations, we can easily calculate the ground state term on the basis of spin orbital coupling or Russell sunrise coupling and on the basis of Hund's rule. So for if we can, uh, we have cal to calculate the D6 configuration. So we can consider it as D6 configuration. So for D6 configuration, S will become equal to there are two electrons in plus 2 plus 2. So it becomes plus 4. For this electron, it becomes plus 2. For this electron, plus 2. For this electron, plus 1. Then 0, minus 1, minus 2. So minus 2, minus 1, minus 3, plus 0, minus 3, plus 1, minus 2, plus 2, 0, and plus 2, 2. So L will become 2. S, there are 4 unpaired electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4. So S will become plus half, plus half, plus half, plus half. So it becomes 2. Now multiplicity will equals to 5. L is equal to 2. So the term will be D. Multiplicity will be 5. And the value of J will be 5. 2 plus 2, 4, then 3, then 2, then 1, then 0. So, 5 values may be possible. 4, D4, 5, 5D4, 5D3, 5D2, 5D1, and 5D0. But in this case, the ground state term will be this with the higher highest value of J because the configuration is more than half it. So likewise, we can calculate the ground state term for different, different configurations. In this table, we can summarize the ground state term for P1 configuration, Pn configuration. So for P1 configuration, we can see that the multiplicity is 2 because there is only one unpaired electron. The value of L is 1 so the state will be the possible terms two terms are possible because there are two j values 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 so but the ground state term is the term with the least number of j value because the configuration is less than half field well in case of p5 configuration there is also one unpaired electron the state is p and j values are 2 like this p1 configuration that are 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 but the ground state term is the that term with the higher value of j so this is a hund rule in case of p2 configuration p2 configuration is just similar to the p4 configuration where there are two unpaired electrons but in case of P2 configuration, because it is less than half filled, so the ground state term will be the term with lower J value. While in case of P4 configuration, the term will be the higher value of J. And uh, the P3 configuration, in case of P3 configuration, uh, in case of half filled and full filled configuration, the L value is 0, so the ground state term will always be S. So uh, the value for P3 configuration, it is the value 
of j should be lower so the ground state term will be 4 s 1 by 2 because this is half filled configuration and in case of p6 configuration only one uh, ground state term is possible that is 1 as 0 so we can summarize that uh, the con the ground state term will be the that uh, term which will have lower j value for the configurations less than half filled and half filled and for the configurations more than half filled the ground state term will be that term that has higher value of j in case of d configuration so we can again take examples of different configurations d1 to d10 in case of d10 configuration we can see that there is one unpaired electron so spin is half multiplicity will be 2 therefore the state will be d two j values are possible 5 by 2 and 3 by 2 therefore there are two ground state terms may be possible but due to less than half field configuration the ground state term will be that term which is having lower value of j similarly in case of d9 configuration there is again one unpaired electron multiplicity will be 2 the terms are similar 2d5 by 2 and 2d3 by 2 but in this case the ground state term will be the term with higher value of j because the configuration is more than half filled likewise in case of d2 configuration and d8 both cases have two unpaired electrons so the multiplicity will become 3 and the term will be f and there will be possibility of three ground state terms 3f4 3f3 and 3f2 in this case also there are three terms they are similar terms but the ground state terms are different because d8 is more than half filled so ground state term will be the term with the higher value of j that is 3f4 well in case of d2 configuration because it is less than half filled so the ground state term is a term with the lower value of j so it becomes 3f2 in case of d3 and d7 both have both are having uh, three unpaired electrons so again the term will be f and four term may be possible uh, 4f 9 by 2 4f 7 by 2 4f 5 by 2 and 4f 3 by 2 here the ground state term will be 4 f 3 by 2 because it is less than half filled and here the ground state term will be 4 f 9 by 2 because it is more than half filled likewise d4 and d6 configuration in this case there are four unpaired electrons and we can see that the ground state term is 5d0 while in this case the ground state term will be the term with the higher value of j that is 4 so it becomes 5d4 in case of d5 configuration which is half filled and d10 is full filled so always because l will always be 0 so the term will al always be s here the term is 6s 5 by 2 and here the term is 1s 0 so we can conclude that these are the different terms for uh, the transition metal complexes uh, these are not for transition metal complexes but this, these are the atomic terms so when the metal is in the form of atom then the ground state terms of uh, these atoms they can be calculated as such and the, these are the ground state term for the atom